This is the loaded dangerous swim bait and big fish love it. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a good one. It's a really good one. Oh dude, he crushed that thing. Gosh, dude, look at that fish. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video today. We're out here, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of winter bass fishing with a brand new lure, although the conditions are very rough. So we actually have had a ton of rain, and if you guys uh, notice the uh, water clarity right there, it is pretty disgusting. So I actually have not been fishing the pond. It's going to sound crazy, but this is actually... 10 times better than what it looked like last week. So we're gonna be fishing with a new lure today. You guys know I love throwing new lures and this one I'm very excited about because we have the opportunity to catch a giant bass. So right here we have the brand new loaded dangerous swim bait. Now, I actually have thrown the regular dangerous swim bait right here and this happened. He's got bit, he's got it. Oh my god, that's a good one. Oh my god, it's huge. It's huge. It's a giant. Thing is gone. What a fish, man. So yeah, the uh, the dangerous swim bait can catch some really big bass. And uh, I've been really excited because there's actually two versions. And uh, I got to see this one at iCast. It literally just came out. It is a line through top hook swim bait. So we basically created our own category of swim bait. So after seeing this thing at iCast, I've been waiting patiently for it to drop. And here it is. We have a six inch loaded swim bait and uh, that's what we're gonna be tossing around today and hopefully gonna be catching a ton of fish on. So let's go ahead, crack this thing open and uh, see what we're working with here. All right, so right here we have the brand new loaded swim bait. I'm super excited to toss this thing around. I love throwing swim baits and these bigger baits in the winter time. It might not be like exactly what you think, but I feel like the big bass love these baits, especially down here in the south. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot, they will eat them. And I feel like in the winter time, some of these bass are just looking for one big meal and that could be this. So we're gonna crack it open and uh, see. I've actually never thrown a uh, line through swim bait. So I'm very excited for this one. There she is. I mean, just look at that thing. Dude, it, it feels solid too. Like this is gonna be a tough swim bait and uh, hopefully it's gonna have a big bass on it today. So it looks like there's a little hole in the top right there and then you can just pull the big old flipping hook out of there and one really cool thing about this swim bait is this little uh this little metal piece right here that's actually like a magnet so whenever you put that hook in there it uh it just basically magnetic clasp is that what you call it it magnetic clasps to the the metal piece science but uh that basically is uh super cool and uh, when a fish bites this thing it can just pull it straight out and uh the bait goes up the line you reel in the fish apparently it helps you uh not lose a bunch of fish i'm i'm new to the swim bait game i wouldn't say that i'm terrible at it i wouldn't say i'm great at it but uh, i feel like this could definitely help out my skills so there it is dangerous swim bait uh let's see what color do we have this is like the chartreuse one or something anyways it's a uh, nice looking color hopefully it's going to look good in this water clarity i think it actually is and uh, there's like a six inch and a seven inch, but I only could snag one because the colors I wanted were sold out. So we're gonna work with what we got and uh, we're gonna catch a big fish on this thing. Okay, so before we actually get on the boat, I'm going to see if I can maybe figure out how to rig this thing up because I have watched absolutely no videos and uh, I've never thrown a line through swim bait. So I'm assuming you put it right here through the nose and then you're gonna just catch the line when it comes out. Dude, this is a meaty flipping hook. Jeez, look at this thing. Mean looking. I'm, I'm excited. All right, we have our bait rigged up. I am ready to go. I'm actually super excited to toss this thing around. I think we're going to catch a ton of fish today. Even though the water clarity is really nasty, I still feel like they're gonna be out to eat and this color looks really good. So, super excited. Let's go ahead, let's get the boat in the water. Let's get this bait in the water and let's go catch some giant fish. All right, so we just made it onto the boat. We have our dangerous swim bait right here. The old line through version. Honestly, I think I've been more excited about this one. Something about that single hook right there and me not having to absolutely destroy this thing, rigging it myself, that, that makes it a lot better. So this thing is uh, super sick, very similar to the other one. This one just has the, uh, the top hook. And uh, I'm actually a huge fan of this top hook because other soft body swim baits have that like treble hook on the bottom 
I hate that because every time I catch a fish, it usually hooks them in like the gills. So I'm glad it's a uh, little top hook and uh, it's actually a super cool design. So I'm not gonna go too far in depth of what this thing's designed like because I'm not an expert. I'm just here to catch some fish. So uh, let's get this thing in the water and uh, we'll see if we can do just that. All right, so visibility today, let's see. It's gone, okay, yeah. Um, still very muddy, and by very, I mean a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to land on top of a fish's head today because this water clarity is disgusting. But, you know, sometimes the big fish like this kind of stuff. It's got some good weight to it. I'm trying to think, where would the uh, the best place to throw this thing be at right now with it being so muddy? We get a little drop off point. One thing I like about this too is it's very weedless because you got that hook on the uh, the top. That bottom can just go through all that grass that you want and stuff. This is actually super cool design. Like I said, we are going to have to be in a fish's face for this thing to get a bite. I'm not worried about the lure we're throwing. I'm worried about this water being so nasty that I'm not going to be able to see it. There's a very high possibility here. Oh, there's one. Got one. It's not going to be a problem. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. We haven't even been fishing for that long. Okay, the swim bait just ejected. That's cool. Cool design. Cool design. All right, let's get our first fish up here. There we go on the dangerous swim bait loaded version. Been very hyped for it, dude. Look at that hook set, though. Honestly, I didn't think I got a good hook set, but I got them right in the middle of the the lip right there, dude. This uh, this flipping hook is meaty. I mean, that is a thick hook right there but uh hauled in our first fish the loaded version catches them just as good as the other one which is actually very good because honestly i thought that this water is way too muddy but hey we've been fishing for maybe five minutes and already caught one so good sign they uh, obviously like the loaded version thank you buddy see you there we go on the loaded version look you just uh put your little hook back through there and then you slide it to that magnet piece and then it'll just Click back where it's supposed to be. That's actually a super sick design. There we go. And I actually caught one on my first hook set. I didn't whiff and miss it, you know? That's always a good sign. But uh, yeah, dude, that is such a sick design. Definitely gonna snag a few more of these because these are gonna be good all year round. So right now with it being winter time, I think the six inch is definitely uh, probably the go-to. But uh, in like the spring and the summer, whoo, that seven inch is money. Okay, I'm actually very excited. That wasn't a big fish, but that is a big fish because any fish that we catch in today's water clarity is, is a big one because it is pretty bad. Like, I'm very surprised that fish can actually see this bait. I can't see like anything of it. But hey, so I, I don't need to see it. The fish need to be able to see it. That's all that matters. But they, ooh, there's one, got him. Dang. Dude, he crushed it. Look at the, look at the, oh my gosh, the swim bait just ejects. Dude, that is actually crazy. It's a super sick design. Dude, they're not going anywhere with that flipping hook either. God, that is a beefy flipping hook. Those fish are not getting away, but it worked so good. I can't even get it out. There we go. Another one. That took no time at all. Another little winter fish. I mean, oh gosh, I don't really need to be able to see this thing. The fish do though. And uh, not only is this a pretty decent color for this, this water, but uh, they also should be able to feel this thing swimming by with that big old uh, tail on the back. But thank you, buddy. Ooh, ooh. All righty, that's two. The one thing I am very interested about is uh, the durability of this thing because I only have one of them and I don't know if it's going to be able to survive a bunch of fish. But so far, after those two, it doesn't look like there's any damage on it and uh, it is still going strong look at that there's not even any teeth marks when i pulled it out the package it it actually had a very good plastic feel to it it's not too hard but it's not too soft it's almost like a, a really tough and 
medium stretchy kind of plastic it's hard to describe but i definitely think that we're going to be able to fish with this thing all day and it's still going to be intact and uh, have no issues i said this with the, uh, the the regular one i was like dude this is definitely my new favorite swim bait but this one right here might just be uh be over that one because of that top hook that's that's like really big for me like i said i've fished the ones that have them on the bottom and i hate them because they i always catch them in the gill with this being on the top though that is perfect for when that fish comes over and eats it gets in the top of the lip especially like when you set the hook and stuff the ones on the bottom they come and get it and they, i always hook them in the gills and i feel so bad so that top hook design is definitely my favorite thing about this this little swim bait this thing is gone there's like maybe five six inches of visibility like there is your bait is gone once you touch the water like it's actually kind of crazy oh there's one. Oh, i kind of oh i still have them i was about to say i think i missed them oh that's a good one. Oh my god oh my god it's a good one i thought i missed them oh my god it's a good one it's a really good one Ooh. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Oh gosh, I literally about just went in. Oh dude, he crushed that thing. He inhaled it. Oh my god, that's a big one. I probably should have brought a scale. Got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look how he ate it. Oh, he wasn't going anywhere either. Dude, he has the whole thing down his mouth. That is actually crazy. A, uh, a monster. That's our third fish of the day. Just an absolute stud. I mean, look at that. To catch this in the wintertime in this nasty water on a swim bait sounds insane. But I'm telling you guys, they love these kind of conditions, these big bass. And you throw a big lure in front of them, they are going to eat it. Gosh, dude, look at that fish. Absolute beaut on the dangerous swim bait. Top hook loaded version. Oh, it's going to be a big fish catcher. I mean, look at this, dude. Third fish and we've already smoked one such a gorgeous fish let's get it back like i said gorgeous fish absolutely crushed the old top hook swim bait dude look at how beautiful that thing is very healthy big old tail and uh, it might be cold but the big fish are still lurking thank you let's get you back oh me and me and that fish just shared a moment when i let it back like we literally locked eyes and it just swam back down like it's nothing better you know that might have sounded a little weird but it actually was so true well that was a very interesting uh bite there i i felt it and then i didn't really feel it feel it like i just kind of felt the bait get lighter and i was like okay that's probably a fish set the hook didn't think i had it because i really didn't even set the hook and uh i think it's because that big fish just basically inhaled this thing and uh, that top hook dug into him really well. And I didn't even set the hook. I literally was just like, oh, I don't even think I have him. And then there he was. So <laughs> third fish on the dangerous swim bait loaded version. And it was a monster. I also don't really see any battle scars except for like right there. Other than that, that's literally, it's already gone through three, three fish and there's like nothing to even show for it. So might have just found my new favorite swim bait. I need everyone down below in the comment section. Do not let me forget. I, I need you guys to do two things. Comment down below to get a scale because I do not bring them with me and I need a good one. So if you know a good scale, drop it down below. And also remind me to snag a few more of these because I am definitely gonna be throwing these on the lake, the river, and uh, obviously the pond. So we need some more swim baits and we need a good scale that is ideally waterproof and doesn't die really fast so help me out drop a comment down below let's see if we can't find another giant let me be so honest i just i don't know how these fish are seeing this lure like it's crazy i know that they can probably fill it but still like i was not expecting to come out here and smoke them with the water being like this like i knew the swim bait was gonna get bites but i didn't know that it would get this many bites in this nasty, ugly orange water. Oh my gosh, dude, that was sick. We already have a big fish, and that was our third fish. Oh, I just got. There he is. Oh, he just came up. No, I got him. Dude, he was running like crazy. Oh my gosh, I've never caught a little fish that has ran like that. 
He's not really even that little. That's actually a decent one. Come over here. Come on up here. There we go. That's actually not a bad fish. Dude, it might be cold out, but these fish are acting crazy. It's legit, okay? I've I've literally have not felt like I've gotten an amazing hook set on any of these fish. And this this flipping hook is like belling me out because it's so thick with three C's. There we go. Another one. Little chunky fish, dude. He was straight up running off with the swim bait. He definitely was wanting to take that for himself. But uh I hate to break it to you, buddy. We need that because we gotta catch a few more fish today. But thank you. See ya. Told myself I'd at least come up shallow and make a few casts. Then we'll probably get back to those drop-offs. There's one. Oh, it's a decent one. Got him. He crushed that thing. Look at the look at the the, the swim bait ejected way up there. That's perfect too, because that that also makes it last a little bit longer, not being in that fish's mouth when he's sitting there thrashing around. Get up here. Wow, how did I hook him like that? I hooked him in the bottom of the lip. There we go, another one. Dude, look how pale that one is up here in the shallows. I knew there'd probably be one or one or two hanging around. See you, buddy. Oh, dude, that water temperature is cold. But fish are still eating a six inch swim bait like it's nothing. All right, well, our, uh, our swim bait is still going pretty strong after four fish and like a four pounder. So we just got off of the boat. It honestly was a pretty decent day for the conditions we had. Super cold, overcast day, muddy water, wasn't really perfect conditions. It's also winter time, but I feel like sometimes these winter time bass really love big baits. I've literally upsized all winter and I've caught some really big fish, but the old dangerous loaded swim bait has, uh, has a new special place in my heart. That thing catches fish. And uh, we caught like a four pounder a day. We caught like four fish. Then the bite kind of died off on us, but it was a lot of fun. And I have had a ton of fun throwing this bait. And uh, I think the new loaded one is definitely my favorite. And uh, already got some more on the way. Bought them out there on the water. So uh, yeah, we got some, uh, some more coming. We're definitely gonna catch some more big fish with them and it was super cool to get out here and use them. I've been super hyped to toss that bait around. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay fishing.